All right, all right, we are recording. Welcome back, welcome back. It's been a while. I'm here again, and well, well, yeah. We're gonna do another guide. This time it's gonna be for new Diablo. Now, nah. yeah. Before before anything, go ahead in comment section and write anything. Just let me know. Do you enjoy these guys? Do you like them? This is for this few subscribers that I have, but uh, I, I really like to continue and make this stuff if if this is helping out someone. Uh, if, if not, you know, I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to waste anyone's time, so yeah. If this helps you, just go ahead and write it in the section. I'm gonna make more guides. Just name a hero and I will make a guide. Um, as you know, I am streaming a lot lately, well, basically every every day at 4 p.m. on server, um, Central European server, server time. I am there, or uh, I don't know what was it, 10, 11 Eastern daytime. I don't know. That. Regardless, uh, yeah, if you want, you can tune in. But uh, these guides, I think it can help you out uh, to understand more the hero because I don't talk as much about that on stream I talk about game mostly so okay let, let's just move on uh, let's continue with the guide so we're gonna go through the talents real quick um, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you about my build uh, there there is other builds of course that actually work but this is my build that I uh, a reason why I picked Diablo uh, if I pick Diablo, I'm gonna go with this build. It's just something that I like. Um, so my go-to talent for level one is Feast on Fear, and this is because mainly with all power, you can always use all power, right? And all power will heal you for 12% over three seconds, uh, regardless do you hit the Shadow Charge or not. 12% is pretty good, right? But there is another talent which is Soul Shield, of course. Uh, not too amazing because of course you have to uh, activate it you know how the spells are they're like way too fast and stuff but uh, you you do can get value out of this a lot so if the enemy is high on spells uh, you know have like uh, two mages like one specialist uh, based on uh, spells and uh, another mage kind of dude like hell or something you know that can blow you up that you can expect and uh, when you, you when you go in because you're Diablo let's face it you have to go in um, it's really good go to talent it's really good uh, but yeah this is my uh, face on fear will be my go to talent and regardless in the game will we have this uh, as a better option I'm gonna go with this this is a demonstration uh, for level 4 my go to talent is souls to the flame now there's a lot of stuff to talk about here, um, but once again, this is my go-to talent because this is my build. Of course, everyone knows Life Leech, Sacrificial Soul can work. Life Leech is really good, but I, I I don't like to rely so much as Diablo on auto attacks. It just ah, it's so slow. It's so slow, and uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's not my thing, okay? It's not my thing. Now, for 7, I go for Eternal Flames. Once again, I'm going with this build, uh, sticking to the W build. Why? Because when I pick Diablo, that's my uh, playstyle. I want to go in, I like to zone out as much as I can, because Diablo is not someone that can, uh, that can peel or survive a lot. Uh, so you actually have to have this extra thing. Now, of course, sometimes Malevolence is really nice and works with Life's Leech and stuff. And you can actually kill the squishy ones really fast. But, of course, this, these are optional talents. Uh, it's all up to you. Will you use it? Will you go for it? Uh, but, yeah. To, as I said, once again, we're going with Grandor build, which is a solo tank style. Now, for level 10, we know Apocalypse is insane right we saw it in plenty of occasions now lightning bread got some upgrades 
and I like this upgrade. So every time we deal damage, like every point, whatever seconds, we're slowing down the enemy up to 50%. Now this is really good because the cooldown is just 60 seconds, right? And you become unstoppable and you do this for 4 seconds. The damage is actually pretty, uh, pretty good. Um, you know, the cone and everything, it's it's really good uh, if you position yourself right, of course. And the idea how to position yourself is uh, to try and be behind, like right in front of the support of or some poke hero you have. So you can actually peel, do damage, uh, because obviously both of the talents are, you know, it, really important for that. Like. It all goes for the team, never goes for yourself. You're not be gonna be like, ooh, I'm gonna use Apocalypse and then gonna kill them all. No, it's ne never gonna work. But with Latin Breath, uh, you can actually peel, you can actually save people. It's it's really good talent. Uh, so this is my go-to talent right now. But, uh, so if I, if I have an option to choose between those two, I'm gonna go for Latin Breath. But Apocalypse is still good. But you need to think about in your team what do you have. If you have something that can actually support this ult. So for example, if you can slow them down, if you have Jaina for example, that's really nice. So they can't escape, right? Any slow, anything. Uh, for example, once again, I keep telling that I don't like Mofiri and Mofiri is one of the worst supports uh, when you saw queuing. But if you do have a Furion, it's not bad at all because he can root them, right? And you can go with Apocalypse and hit 100%. It's all about that, right? So either that or mispositioning, choose whatever you think it's more important and just go for it. Um, if you ask me, there is not ma much chance for you to fuck up with choice of the ult, though it sometimes it could be. But yeah, just think about what you need more and what can be supported, what cannot. 13. You expect me to go with Hellfire? No. No, I'm gonna go with Devastating Charge. Surprise. Yeah, this is uh, actually really good because the damage it, uh, gets increased insanely. Uh, I do go sometimes with Hellfire, but this is only if I know I will be able to use all those Hellfires. I mean... Um, all that fire to hit and I will have enough time so sometimes I do go for this uh, but in general I go with this so this is one of the optional talents that we're gonna see in this game uh, picked uh, so we'll see like both are really good uh, this is better just pulling out there okay 16 on 16 we have good old domination right so every time Casting our power sets the cooldown of Shallow Charge, and this is really nice, right? We This is where we feel Diablo overpowering, just going crazy. What's with my hair? It doesn't matter. This is where we feel Diablo just charge to the wall, flip him over, charge to the wall, and the target is like melted, right? It's awesome. But, Brilliant in Flames. Have you read this? Enemy heroes hit by Firestorm are slowed by 5 seconds for 4 uh, 5%, sorry, for 4 seconds up to 50%. Now, heroes slowed by 25% or more. So, right, once again, everyone that's hit for 5 per, uh, once, right, once, slow for 5 seconds for 4. Everyone that's, every hero slowed by 25% or more, deal 50% less damage now let's go back on level 7 we have eternal flames every time we stun anyone with Q or flip him over we, we reset the fire stomp let's switch back here so we use the fire we charge if possible hit the wall use it again flip over use it again so we have three three debilitated flames uh, in action right uh, so, getting this debuff is insanely easy and also is slowing the whole enemy team. You have no idea how much this is a game changer. Literally something like Leoric level 13 when you uh, actually re remove the damage from the enemy team. It's really, 
insane. So I'm going for this. This is what I go to with this build. If I go with this build and then on and on this this turn I pick domination or even this for some reason. It's stupid, it's just waste of time. I wasted the whole build because the whole build is about this. Level 20. I can't I can't describe how much enjoy it is. It's not the best talent, but you have no idea how much I enjoyed this. This it lasts 200% longer. They think like, oh, it's gonna end. No, it keep going. Oh, it's gonna end. No, it just keep going. He's like, all the time. I enjoy it a lot. It's not the best thing you can do, but... Oh my god, do I enjoy it. I think uh, lately the game is getting the best of me, so I'm getting into the fun zone, more into the winning zone, you know, like uh, I'm, I'm sacrificing victories in order to have more fun, but for you mister I suggest you take something like this, so activate to steal 10% of the maximum health of nearby enemy heroes and gain 5 soul per hero hit this is really good, right? So, because you can heal for a gazillion health gate, uh, another okay -ish thing um, I'm saying okay because it's not the best for this build. Um, teleport and place a demonic like rune or at target uh, uh, location, and of course, it just repeats uh, the ult. So why I'm saying this is because the cooldown is insanely huge, and this is more aggressive than it is um, solo tank style. And I keep saying solo tank because. This build is especially for solo tanking, where you're stuck as Diablo solo tank. You really need to provide some protection for your team. You need to uh, reduce the damage, you need to slow them down. This is where Hellstorm, I mean, um, Lightning Breath kicks in. It's it's really important. If you pick the other one, Dying Breath. So Apocalypse cooldown is reduced by 20 seconds, really nice. For every hit, enemy hero hit to a minimum of 5 seconds. So, once again, if you make this work, it's really insane. And this uh, cast for free when Diablo dies, you know that. So, basically, uh, everything got buffed. Uh, a lot of people complain. A lot of people say for Diablo, uh, he is... I don't know. Um, he's... I don't know what. I don't know. They, they just like to complain, I guess. They like to say. He's nerfed. He's nerfed. I'm used to old style where I get a range of Q forever and I can't miss or something. I don't know. But yeah. I think that he is pretty good. Pretty, pretty buffed. Oh, someone left. Alright. So we're gonna just Q again. Um, but yeah, once again, a lot of terror is the go to talent. Okay, we have we have Garrosh here. We don't have a support. It's pretty good a uh, uh, pretty good time to show. Um, it's pretty good time to show how much Diablo can actually tank. Uh, let's see what we are up against. Uh, not the best target. Uh, there is Varian the Hacker, and this helps, right? But uh, there are other three targets that we can barely hit. <clears throat> And then that at least one of them is countering us. Who knows who? Now we can expect uh, Varian to actually go. I mean, if he goes for taunt, it's gonna be good for them. But I'm actually expecting him to go uh, damage. Uh, because the smart thing to do in these kind of matchups, uh, this is also for support side. If we have like some slow support that uh, slowly heals. And the enemy as well. It's actually better to have some. Okay, let's let's. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. that. So we won't be disturbed. It's actually better to go for full damage uh, because the faster you do damage, the faster the enemy falls. So if you're able to do that kind of stuff, it's better. Uh, if you go for passive, you're actually delaying time, right? So the enemy is able to bring you down faster. 
and you are just like trying to play safe and stuff. Alright, so Garrosh for some reason went top. No idea why. As we all know, this map is all about the mid. So I'm gonna do this. Boom. Alright. So, as you know, when you do this, you can actually go in front um, the target and you can actually hit with everything. That is pretty good, right? Pretty sick as well. Uh, but not because you will be able to damage them a lot, but because you will be able to kill yourself a lot. So for example, if I throw it this way and then I flip him over, I just do all the damage to him and I went to full HP. For the sake of demonstration, I am actually uh, losing some, but let's flip him over, try to push, never mind. Okay, we need to stop demonstrating and focus more on the game, but it's fine. Anyway, the idea is to actually throw it on the some side, so we can after that uh, do some damage. I'm gonna show you one more thing uh, that's pretty important um, and it works real well. And that's the use of Fire Swamp in opposite direction when you engage. It's gonna be useful later, obviously not now. <clears throat> right. Basically, we do this and then we flip him over and we hit with everything. So that was like full potential, right? Of the ability. Okay, no point to stay here any longer. Dodge that. So we don't, can't really do much damage to Dragon, so we'll just chill here. Okay, try to dodge that, but didn't went well. Right. So this is the, you know, uh, usual use of the ability. I actually call it a uh, dismount ability. There we go. Now we just wait. He's waiting, obviously, as well. We don't want to go in front because of that hit, uh, kick. Alright. We made a little mistake. Alright. Some damage, some healing. We do the combo again. Just so I can show you. We'll do it the moment we get the chance. So, the one that you want to make dark, uh, damage the most is the one that is right there, right in front. Because the moment they reach you, uh, all the fire is gonna do all the damage. Of course, we have to soak in this uh, game. We can't be all about the team, sadly. So it's gonna be a lot of soaking until 10. On 10, I'm gonna try and... Uh... Okay, Jen was here. Right. I'm flipping him over because it's uh, I can't kill anyone, obviously. But if uh, she doesn't have a tank, she's gonna run back. Let's just think about yourself as a uh, Jaina player, right? This is where we get resets. Oops. Okay, no, 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 we didn't fuck up. Yeah, I thought that we did with the range, but we didn't. I was uh, confused for a bit. It's fine. Now you go there. Build. Right. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna have to flip him over because of the heal. Okay, he managed to finish that. I actually are doing some a lot of damage here. Alright, I'm gonna just do everything I can to slow this down. I can't 
Uh, join the mob, sadly. This. The this. Takes time, right? Awful. Alright. Gonna go back and then. I guess we're gonna go top and help. Hmm? It's kinda weird to go and help uh, Garrus, right? Nah. Maybe instead, maybe we can uh, bring that variant down. If not, we can delay. It, we see three on top. Right. He can actually whoop our ass, but he's too afraid. I guess he's afraid of me, right? Put it, put it down. That's the second one. He actually missed. But yeah, you can heal, see the heal potential right there. Now the question is, do we go for Apocalypse? And uh, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna go with Lightning Breath. Right. He goes for a kick. I'm gonna use my ult. I'm gonna use it right away. Right. I'm still afraid of that kick, actually. Yeah, there it is. Right, we're coming back. Was a nice save for him. Yeah, there is another way for the flames to be used better. Um, if you notice, every time you move to the left, they actually move to left. So, for example, you throw them here, but when you use them here, they actually go to this target, right? Like right, that one. Regardless of these starting there, I think it's a vector miscount or something, but that's how it goes. Okay. Put this one over, so I can do this. Okay, there is the egg there. That's why I want to kill it. Kill yet? Okay. Right. Okay, it's faster to actually use the Hearthstone, get things to heal. In this case, it's a big heal. <laughs> okay. Then this, so we are still, we are still losing, right? Uh, the kills are kind of the same. Nope. Push them in. Instead of pushing them back, you push them forward. So, every time you do that, Oh yeah, they're dead. Okay. This guy is not easy to deal with, but yeah. we did some damage. That was uncalled for. The shrines are gathering power. The dragon knight calls from within the star. Kill. Thanks. If that one. This is where we're actually gonna use some damage. Okay. Can't do anything about that. Oh my god. Okay. Heal. Deny the bottom. As you can see, we're having problems with uh, players playing. Okay. I could go with old here, and I will. Right. 
we're forcing them to go back. That's okay, but gonna lose another dragon. For sure, let's say they're gonna get another. Here. Always be sure to use your shift. <laughs> Actually, I need to kill this. It's a uh, some sort of healing. Okay. Sadly, we don't have uh, 16 here. Would be great. There is a lot to heal and stuff here, but I think we're still dead. You can use the old, but it will not help me at all. Um, yeah, the main problem here in our team right now is uh, that we're not playing together as I mentioned uh, the second problem would be me not having um, bring back bring back no not him is supposed to be our target I don't have 16 with 16 I can actually reduce uh, a lot of damage we Reply. Yeah, he's just going in all alone. Oh no. Damn. Alright, so we have this now. You Jaina. Okay. We are on a good path to lose, <laughs> but it's it's okay. Okay. Soul taken, just as he says. It helps us uh, for the quest. As you know, every time you get a uh, kill on a minion or a uh, hero, you're getting souls. And with that, you're getting a pretty good boost to your full HP. Alright. It's deep. That was nice use of ult by Nova. Because, I mean, it's kind of obvious, right? She used, uh, Jenna used the ice block, so she was unable to save herself. Actually doing a lot of pushing, right? So regardless of our build, right? Regardless, I'm saying regardless because the auto attack build is actually doing more damage, right? Um, okay, let's slow everyone down. Do that. Okay. Do that as well. I have to go this way because of the heal. Uh, otherwise, my stuff will not work. But as you can see, I actually survived more. If I kept ran running, uh, that would be it. Here, because I have to go here and defend. Trying to look at the team, what they're doing, but it just uh, had to take uh, the shrine and just go back.
But yeah, you have to adjust yourself uh, to the to your ability, right? So it will actually hit more heroes. Or should I say it more times? You slow down. You are slowing them down. You have to remember that, right? If they're slowing down uh, enough, you're gonna actually do that extra uh you're gonna actually reduce uh, their damage. Alright, I'm gonna grab this or I use this. I'm trying to clear stuff here. There we go, some healing. Where this dies. Okay. This might be the game though. Okay. Yeah, we're dead. But we did try to pin down Genji. I guess it was a good attempt. But yeah, that that will be the game for the enemy team. I think this demonstrates a lot how much you can actually tank. Uh, you can see the amount of damage taken is just humongous. Like insanely bigger than anyone else. Garrosh himself uh, was unable to do anything. We died the same amount, but we uh, did way more. We actually had siege damage as well, and the damage done is similar to the um, Nova, right? For some reason, Hanzo. Well, uh, we're not gonna criticize the rest of the team, but that's that's about it. Um, just imagine having a proper team where you actually play together and stuff. Um, if if. The only thing that I dislike that is we don't have the healing here, right? It would be awesome if we can actually see the numbers for everyone, for everything, just as we see it for hero damage. Uh, in, for example, if we are tank, uh, it should be like only tank, right? Uh, damage taken stuff, if etc. etc. But yeah, since they're providing all these numbers, I, I think we should also get how much we healed and. I think the number w would be pretty big, like really big. Um, the other build, I don't think it would work here as well. Uh, I think we would just straight on lose with um, auto attack, with uh, Q build, with any build. Uh, it was just a problem with the rest of the dudes. But yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed and uh, let me know. Let me know, did you did you enjoy this? Uh, do you like this? Do you want more? Which heroes do you want? And I'll, I'll just do it, man. Do it. So that's it for now. See you next time.